Uh, welcome Capricorns. Welcome, welcome, welcome Capricorns. All right, this is the Gemini season. The Gemini season begins from May May 21st until June 20th. And I want to say thank you for being here. Please remember to like, share, thumbs up. This Gemini season has to do with four weeks and it has to do with finally, 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 for a lot of you Capricorns, you are going to be able, you are successfully overcome a situation, overcome some sort of a strife that was going on. <coughs> Sorry, there was some sort of a un, unbelievable strife that was going on. Where a lot of people was um, working against you. A whole lot of people were working against you, Capricorns. And um, this, this situation has, uh, um, um, you know, suck your energy dry. Because you can recognize this. That is as if a lot of people were um, having a lot of competition against you, Capricorn. And it can be that you are self-employed. It can be that you are a freelancer um, on the work floor. A lot of people were having a lot of strife and competition against you. And this could have been something that has sucked your energy dry. And I see that uh, this Gemini um, season is when you stood your grounds and said, I am resolving this situation, okay? I am ending all of these strife. And I see that you're not walking away. You are just not walking away. You are standing up um, to whatever that was happening. It's as if you're bringing it down and ending these strife. The first week and the last week is going to be your best week. Because what is happening and transpiring is that you you um, Capricorns recognize that um, you were being basically blocked. You were, you know, people, a lot, whole lot of people, you were blocked. A whole lot of people were um, um, trying to create a whole lot of competition. It's as if, uh, you know, you were um, setting one fire out, the other fire out. And whether or not you are a sample employed, a freelancer, um, whatever you do, whatever work position you are, whether you're trying to get uh, um, an, a job or get through to regain some sort of a financial stability it's going to be happening so i see a lot of you there was a whole lot of strife around you there were people that were striving and it was because of jealousy so jealousy is um i tell you jealousy is a horrible thing because uh, what was happening and transpiring all of the strife that was going on is going to finally come to an end and this major arcana is about transition and you standing your ground and making sure that people recognize that I'm not moving, I'm not leaving, and I am not um, going to be um, putting my head, my, my tail between my foot and walk away. No, I have built something and I'm going to um, be carrying this out to the end. So a lot of you, a lot of people were creating chaos and strive for you at the workplace because they wanted you to walk away from your job. Um, you know, a lot of people were creating a lot of competition and strive um, with whatever you were doing. Um, if you're a creative person or if you're a self-employed person, they were trying because of jealousy. They didn't come up with the idea that you came up and they were trying to strive with you. So, um, you know, whatever is transpiring, be aware of this. Uh, let people, and I see that you're just going to be ending the strife, or the strife could be just coming to an end, uh, and you're going to be standing your ground and letting people um, recognize that, hey, um, you know, you can't just push me or um, pull my strings, uh, because you can pull my strings. I don't have to answer, but when enough is enough, I'm going to stand my ground and show this up. So a lot of you could be dealing with um, co-workers, teammate, uh, team leader, and that sort of a thing. And this is all, the strife that was going on is all connected with uh, people not being really honest, okay? And and, and people that has uh, some sort of uh, jealousy that was coming and rage of strife, competition, a whole lot of competition. And you're like, I'm in no competition with anyone. So, you know, two little people 
because this is not what I'm here for. So let's look at the first week. The week is the first week is from the 21st until the 27th. And what is happening into this week with this week of the 21st until the 27th? You are basically standing your ground. You're you're basically standing your ground. And what is happening by you standing your ground is that um you know people are just going to be recognizing I can't push this Capricorn around. Um, you know, it is the energy of the three of uh, the three of ones, and this is Sun in Aries. So, so it's as if uh, um, you are going to be overcoming a situation um, that an Aries had created. It's the Sun in Aries, is and it is your reading. You're overcoming a situation. Your success is overcoming a situation what an Aries had created against you, okay? And uh, recognizing that this Aries uh, um, was trying to compete with you, okay? This Aries was trying to create some sort of a chaos for you, whether it's at the work or, or whether it's 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 um, basically with other people. And this Aries, whoever this Aries is or whatever that was transpiring, you are now retaking back your empowerment because this is about, yes, you have overcome the situation and there is a new uh, beginning for you, okay? Because this is about the three of ones is about you moving forward, um, successfully ending some sort of a problem, some sort of a, a, a competition, some sort of an issue, um, some sort of a chaos that Aries had created for you and successfully moving forward um, because you recognize that Aries was the one that was blocking you from being a successor and being the successor that you needed to be. And whoever this Aries is and whatever that was transpiring, you are overcoming because the sun is in Aries, meaning that you succeed an Aries uh, uh, for something that they were, uh, you succeed a job, you succeed um, getting a job position. It's about uh, um, the, the success, okay? The sun is about success, being successful over something. It's in the upright position. So if you notice, there is someone walking forward and there is like um, um, you you moving forward is moving forward in right direction because it's as if that was where you were meant to be. That was what you were supposed to accumulate in your life. That, you know, the position that you're in, the business that you're in um, is where you had needed to go. So this area is, uh, was kind of creating issues for you so that you would have never gotten out of a cycle or a secret uh, and you are now walking away from this person because you have succeeded them and you're now letting go, walking away from this person and moving forward. So that is going to be good. So the first week is going to be a very, very positive week. The second week, we have the energy of Saturn in Leo. I see a tower moment for a Leo in the second week. I see a Leo was trying to compete with you and creating a whole lot of problems and issues around you. Whoever this Leo is, it is Saturn in Leo is in reverse. That means um, discipline. And this Leo could be fired from the workplace. This Leo could be reprimanded at the workplace. Whoever this Leo is, they're about to recognize um, that whatever chaos they were creating, they are the one who have... Uh, I felt the, the rod of the destruction because this is Saturn coming in and said, listen, you're in the house of the Capricorn. Okay. And you're in the, they're in the reverse because they were creating some sort of a chaos, some sort of a problem for you Capricorn and has been blocking you basically. And they could have been working with an Aries in order to do this. So they're going to be recognizing that the Aries and the Leo has collaborated in order to create some sort of a chaos for you in your career at the workplace, at, at the work floor, um, with your studies, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, blocking your money and your frequency and, and the flow of your money and wealth. And in the second week, that is the week of the 28th to the 3rd of June, 
I see an end is coming in. An end is coming in to people who were creating chaos, people who were um, uh, blocking you and creating uh, competition and uh, people who were just not on Capricorn team. They are going to be removed out of whatever organization or um, whatever they were doing in order to block you. So let's say that it was some sort of a business situation and this person was like not working on your documents. So the shipment of the goods should come in and um, trying to copy um, something that you have created, some sort of a copyright thing and that sort of a thing. And they're going to be bringing down an end because this person was trying to comp um, create some sort of a competition against you with your business uh, or a competition at the work floor. And they're going to be recognizing um, you know, you don't have what it takes to be in the shoes of the Capricorn. And I see Saturn is going to be removing this Leo once and for all. So a lot of you are going to be really recognizing how a Leo and a Aries had collaborated to create a whole lot of issues for you guys. That is going to be, that has been affecting you for quite a very long time. Maybe, um, it was a new job and these two people just decided, Oh, so this person comes in and get a better position than than we and we have been here and has moved up the ladder and the both of them had um collaborated in order to create some sort of a chaos and this is going to be over because a lot of you are going to be recognizing, hey, I am not going up this uh, uh I'm not going in this direction. I don't want to go in this direction. And, um, you know, you two are not going to be making my life miserable because of the misery that you're dealing with, with yourself. Like, you know, I am going to be, um, standing my grounds. I'm going to be making my decisions, standing my grounds, and I'm going to be showing up for myself because a lot of people like to be tested and like to test other people. And a lot of people do not get promotion at the workplace is because, uh, they create these chaotic games and it's, um, and that is the reason why. And you come in and need to do your work. And these people have been uh, coaxing together against you in order for you um, not to do your work um, properly. So the, now it's as if in this third week, you're going to be saying to, 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 you know, let it go. It's not happening. As we look at the third week, the third week is the 4th of uh, June until the 10th of June, I see transition. And this is powerful transition because the energy of that is in reverse. So if you notice this transition had happened um, in the week before, um, because the, the strife is now over, the conflicts is now over, and um, you are now in the state of transiting because you are regaining uh, um, your stability in that form because of what these people were creating the chaos around you and this energy of the the dead in the reverse is that you end the chaos that was going on around you and definitely um the energy of the, the dead is going to be um, showing up a transition for a cancer and a scorpion and a leo so some sort of a transition um, is going to be coming up and they could be fired. Okay. So, um, it is that a cancer could be leaving, a scorpion could be leaving and also a Leo. So it is a situation where, um, whoever these people were, whether they were in your department, whether they were in, you had to, um, you know, call conciliate in a department or, um, at the same workplace or you were you know working from all home but yes you're creating you're working with these people these people was contagious and when i said contagious is that um wherever they are they bring drama okay it's, it's, it's a situation where a cancer and a scorpion just bring a whole lot of drama and an end is going to be coming to that because these this this drama that they were creating and this situation that they were creating, you are now recognizing, no, you know, you have been creating so many, so much drama for people. And, you know, people are now recognizing that, you know, we don't want these people on our team anymore. So, you know, a lot of you Capricorns is going to be recognizing 
um, that you got, you have to make some sort of a change and some sort of a transition and reorganization is going to be coming up where a Cancer and a Scorpion is going to be booted off and could be leaving um, a position, a job or a, some sort of a department because they have been creating a whole lot of chaos and it has to do with the work process and it has to do with just not getting along with other people because they have a um, some sort of a hoax about them and what, um, you know, they want. And it's as if they stemple over other people and people are just not enjoying these two people. So I see you Capricorns are going to be making a decision in the third week to, um, you know, get rid of a, a cancer and a scorpion. Um, however, you're going to do this. Some of them could be fired or um, reintegrate in something else or depromote, but you have it. You have had enough. Okay. The fourth week is the week of the seven of wands and the energy of the seven of wands is uh, you really Mars in Leo. So Mars in Leo is really, um, you're ending it. You're, you're standing your ground. This Mars in Leo is, Mars is seen as, uh, really creating and bringing back uh, some sort of a stability. Mars in Leo is like, okay, guys, you have ranted um, against me. You have created the chaos because the Leo, and Leo has, is the major, major person. Um, so what we're recognizing that Aries, a Leo, a Cancer, and a Scorpion has been raided on your bloody pillory for a very, very long time. And these people could have been um, people that you were in some sort of, a, but th these are people that is on the work floor. These are people that you do business with. These are people who are career people, but these are people that was really creating, um, uh, you know, they, they, they kind of have this, uh, drama that they bring everywhere drama um on the work floor drama with whatever they're supposed to do it's always drama drama okay and competition against you and you're like um you know i don't have any time for this competition and whatever you people you know this is a uh, this is about using wasted energy so guess what this is how it's going to be and if you can't accept um, the process of the way things go or you cannot uh, um, do your task, um, you know, there is the door. And I see some of you are going to be really showing them the door because these people have been just draining your energy for quite some time and has been creating so much chaos for other people and has been creating an unhealthy environment. And you're going to be draining the swamp, basically. And some of you are going to be happy if you're not in the position of management. But I see management is going to be like, no, I've gotten too much complaint. These people are out. Let's reorganize there. So, you know, uh, Capricorn, um, you know, reorganization is going to be here. Some of you Capricorn could be leaving an organization in the third week. But I see in the last week, especially management or people who were, um, you know, dealing with these sort of a competition around them, you're going to be stepping away from this and you're going to be standing up and said, Hey, um, this environment is so, is, is too unhealthy. Um, you know, the frequency of and my energy is not, um, going with this environment. And a lot of you are going to be step, stepping back and just uh, letting go, letting go, but standing your grounds and say, Hey, and that was what you were doing. I am ending this Gemini season. I'm taking back my empowerment for what you people have created, the mess. I'm taking back my empowerment. So this is where it stopped. This is you people go no further over um, this situation because it's not going to be helping. So I see a lot of you um, business. Um, if you're a business person, I see um, you could be making some sort of a uh, business decision and I see um you stood your ground and you show up uh, um that you know you have the position to make the right and the, you are good in you know dissolving the position and it's going to be um creating um stability in your world and just going to be standing and just recognizing hey 
um, this is how far people are going to be dealing um, with me and you know I am not giving my power anymore to either my colleagues or um, to my clients or um, to the people who have been just raiding on my parade this is where it stops so Capricorn check out and see what is happening or are you having competition um, are you dealing with uh, situation some of you are going to decide in the third week you know i'm leaving this on lt corporation and i'm moving forward so this could be happening for a lot of you whatever your decision is you're going to be making the right choices because i see a lot of you are going to be thinking to leave some sort of a um corporation some sort of a job some sort of a um uh is is if you have been dealing with some sort of a um competition if you're self-employed and you're going to, you're you're going to be making some sort of a um transition that you, people are going to be thinking oh i didn't see that coming yeah because you just decided hey you want to have it have it but um how okay it's like okay so uh everything that i do everything that i, I create you want to um take it all right well take it but how and I see you're going to be shutting it down, Capricorn, because you recognize that these people are just full of, uh, they're like energy vampire. And you're going to be um, just standing and protect yourself from these people. So Capricorn, I wish you a lot of luck and just take it down, whatever it is. I wish you a whole lot of luck. Namaste. Until next time, please remember, thumbs up, thumbs up and share these videos. Namaste. <laughs>